Hey, it's Rob Jackson with Fandroid.com, and I'm here on the brand new version of Android Market on the web. This was announced by Google today at their Honeycomb event at their headquarters. So I want to take you through some of the features that have been announced, um, the biggest of which is buying your app on the web and having it automatically installed on your phone, which is really cool. But first, as you can see, on the left here, we've got the categories, and you can browse um, through all of Android Market. So let's go ahead and uh, check out Brain and Puzzle games. And the market has been a little bit slow because I guess everybody's hammering at it, trying it out. Um, but you can change between top and uh, paid, top free, click on see more, and you can see there's these big beautiful icons, the titles and the descriptions with the star rating. And it allows you to uh, install. At the bottom there is pagination. You can't see it. It's below the screen. Um, but you can skip through pages and pages. I just clicked on the 10th page, 15th page, 20 page, and you can click through all these different things. And um, and the great part is if you click through to read a in one app in particular, game in particular. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at Fruit Ninja. Um, you can see that it's got this big, beautiful uh, description and screenshots. But the video is a feature that I really like. So you can click through and watch a promotional video of the application or game and in this case I think personally uh, this will let you really decide if this is an app you want to buy or not much more though so than um, you know screenshots and just the description there's user reviews so you can see what other people are saying you can go ahead and write a review um, give it a title and a comment and submit it the review by um, Rob as you can see I just purchased this game and I purchased it on the web so let's go ahead and go back and show you what it is like to purchase um, through the web let's choose a game down here and I'll choose a game that's uh, one of the best selling games let's try <laughs> the moron test it's pretty funny let's go and look at hmm how about doodle jump so I'll click through, see the descriptions. It's got four stars over here. It says uh, it's got 100,000 to 500,000 installs. They actually added more um, different ranges, so they made it more detailed to how many installs each app or game has. Uh, on the left here, you can see more games or apps from the same developer and also related apps and games, which is kind of neat. Uh, I'm going to... Uh, and choose to buy this for 99 cents if you're in you have to be logged into the Android market website with the same uh, Gmail address as you is on your Android phone for this to work but I'm gonna go ahead and click on buy and it should bring up a list of permissions here so it can show all the permissions and uh, make sure that you know it's an application you're comfortable downloading and you choose which device you want to install it on right now I only have the Verizon Motorola Droid X um, I'll show you more about that later, how you can add more phones, or actually adds them automatically. But I'm good with this, so I'm going to choose to continue. <clears throat> and now it will ask me, uh, you know, this amount, you choose a credit card, and you can add a new payment. I'm going to choose this credit card and complete my purchase. Now once it processes this order, this application will immediately begin begin downloading on my Verizon Motorola Droid X, which is awesome. Um, this, for people that are just casually browsing, looking for games or apps to download, or doing research, it will make it uh, just so much more enjoyable and productive to be browsing on the web. And yet, it's here on my Droid X. You can't see it, but I'm looking at it now. 70% complete, and yep, there we go. It just downloaded Doodle Jump to my Droid X. That's awesome by itself. That is if you ask me ridiculously awesome um, <clears throat> excuse me so another feature here is if I, I can search so let me search for fit and you can see it's filling in as we go so giving you suggestions for what you might be looking for if you only know part of a title um, but we know we want to search for Fandroid and here it comes at the top this is the application for our website fandroid.com and you can see we have it installed um, the search is great by the way download this app it's, it'll give you news on all the Android stuff happening in the world um, it'll give you specific news for your phone or and your carrier and you can get alerts based on that you've also got um, full forum functionality and 
uh, chat and a bunch of other stuff coming soon. So download the Android application off Android Market or off Android Market on the web. Um, so this is one, uh, the search feature, great. Buying on the web, great. Uh, one thing I do like uh, as well, or actually let me show you, show you this. There's my market account so you can see everything you've bought. Um, go back and look through uh, and you can see here I bought Fruit Ninja and I can go back and look at the app. Um, I can tweet it which is pretty neat and share it with my friends so uh, you know I'm going to tell them this is an app I've downloaded or used uh, and it looks like it's lagging just a little bit but trust me it will come up with a tweet button. Um, and settings here this is an interesting part any phone that you log into with your gmail account that's tied to android market uh, will show up in the settings and um, that way when you choose to install an application you can select which phone you want to install it to or maybe not a phone maybe it's motorola zoom or the t-mobile g slate by lg you can choose yeah i want to buy an application and I want you to automatically install it here um, so it looks like it's taking a little bit uh, to load for those of you wondering why I downloaded Michael Vick dogfight fear not it was refunded <laughs> I was just curious what exactly was going on with that I thought it was a hilarious idea for a game in general it turns out it's the stupidest game ever I probably would have returned it anyways because it's kind of offensive um, but here we go. Settings. Okay, now that we got that out of the way. Uh, settings. You can give your device Nick's names. Um, for me, it just showed up as Verizon Motorola Droid X. Um, I can switch this and just name it Droid X if I'd like. And click Update. And that should update for me in my settings. And this is uh, taking a little bit to load probably because everybody is hammering at this and all trying to check out the new market and download stuff to their phones from the market. I suggest you check this out. Um, definitely if you're trying to do research on apps, check out the new version of Android Market. Very cool. Um, and hopefully one of these days I'll be able to get back to my settings. Another thing they announced but they have not uh, integrated yet is in-app purchases. So if you buy, for example, a, you know, Angry Birds and you're able to pay the first, you know, 100 levels, they might offer you uh, 50 levels for an extra dollar and you can buy them directly in the application. Or maybe there's like a special bird that you can purchase to use on your levels. Uh, you know, like a, a rainbow bird that shoots light of color at, I don't even know. Point being, um, in-app purchases are a huge feature on other platforms and now that it's on Android Market that should be uh, a huge uh, opportunity for developers to make some extra money. I think the Android market in general on the web will bring in a lot more money for developers and I'm excited for that because it will attract more developers to the platform. Uh, the visibility here, this is shown in menus so it, these are two phones that I didn't want to show from the drop downs so I chose hidden in menus that way when I'm browsing Android market and I choose something to install um, say I want to install you know spring pad in this device compatibility here now it's using my nickname it won't add uh, that device in there I can show you real quick let me um, let me go to my market account settings and see if I can quickly change this and you can see the date that those were registered as well um, and go back to Android market Let's do this. Let's install Zynga Poker, and oh, and it doesn't look like it's allowing me to select my Nexus quite yet. So I'm curious what that is all about. But this is just a beautiful website. You can see these big pictures on here. Um, are you're able to upload these in your Android Market Developer Account area? Uh, so you can be sure that on our Fandroid account, we'll be adding these soon. And that's pretty much it. It's simple but and straightforward, but does exactly what you've been wanting it to do for a long time and more with the ability to click, buy, and have it automatically installed on your phone. So head on over to market.android.com now. Try out new, the new Android market and let us know in the comments 
what you think. Uh, do you like it? What else would you like to see in Android Market on the web and on your phone? And we'll really uh, look forward to hearing your thoughts and opinions. So this has been Rob Jackson from Fandroid.com. Take care.